Hi, my name is Dan McCarty, and Governor Snyder, you got four votes from my household. I'm a, I reinvented myself and became a working actor, worked really hard taking classes. My business was failing, as a lot of businesses are in Michigan, as you may have heard. And at this point, I am just appalled that you would kill the incentives. I've seen firsthand what the incentives do. I don't care about the studies, even though they've been proving lately that they're working. I'm out there every day with many different demographics, and I see the benefits of the incentives have brought to Michigan on a daily basis. For example, I'm a dumpster uh, junk removal company who provides labor. The dumpster companies that are my colleagues are renting out dumpsters left and right to productions. One of them, in, one of them in particular, rented out dumpsters, containers to 16 films in Michigan. I know his staff personally, and that saved their jobs. And they even got overtime, which is unheard of. So you know, nobody has to tell me that these benefit that these film incentives are benefiting Michigan. I know for a fact that they are. I don't know what you were thinking when you decided this, but it's a bad decision for Michigan. I've got two college-aged children that might end up leaving the state if these don't go through because it's not sexy, so to speak, to be in Michigan any longer. It's just not, the brain drain is, is, is a real thing. And my son's friends tell me that they stayed in Michigan because of the, uh, the film, in large part. Many of them are doing a lot of behind the scenes things. It's not about bringing just actors like myself to Michigan. There are so, are so many different people that are benefiting from this. So you have a business. Tell us the name of your business and how that business has benefited and what you've seen with other businesses like yours that we might not know about. The name of my business is Good Riddance Junk Removal. We provide labor to remove junk. A lot of the dumpster companies don't provide labor. So when they get busy dropping off containers to all these different productions, we in turn get all a lot more referral business. So every dumpster company that we have a relationship with is going to give us business. Our sales have grown steadily in the last two years. We've seen an increase and it's uh, in a big part a result of all the dumpster companies that are referring us business because they're just too busy. And you've been able to go back and find something you love to do with taking acting and improv classes and, and tell us about that. Yes, when, I, when, I, when things were go really starting to go bad for our business and, and a lot of the builders got into the junk removal business, a lot of different industries decided to be junk removers because they weren't getting the business building and so on and they had trucks and trailers. I decided to reinvent myself and I took improv classes, I took I worked really hard. I went to classes in Detroit, learning theater. I learned film. In the past few months, I've done several theater productions. I would have never got into acting and found out that I'm halfway decent at it. I, I, I basically, uh, as a result of the film incentives, have been making paychecks now. It took a while to get an agent. Now I have one, and I've been in some featured films, and I've, I've had the most exciting roles lately. I absolutely love it. I want to stay in Michigan. I want to stay with filming movies and doing theater, but I can do that in other states, and and I will. You're prepared to move if, if you have to. Yes, I will, and, and hopefully I'll have my way and bring my kids with me. I'm a small business owner. I'm a working actor who reinvented themselves, and I supported the film credits and voted for Governor Schneider.